Cortez delivers. Freeman hits the ball to right field. She is gone! Gibby meet Freddy! Game one of the World Series! Somewhere Kirk Gibson is chuckling going, I know what that feels like. Freddie Freeman set this place into a frenzy. And that is how we start MLB tonight from the World Series presented by Evan Williams Bourbon. It's Greg Amsinger on the field at Dodger Stadium. My good friends, Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Kike Hernandez of the Los Angeles Dodgers, kind enough to join us at the top of the show. Have you caught your breath yet, Kike? Uh, breath is back, but uh, <laughs> I'm still not here. I'm still not here. Is this one of the best baseball games you ever played in? Dude, when Shohei was coming up to the plate and they brought in Nestor, um, I ran into the cage and I told the guys in the cage, this game should have been the first baseball game ever on pay-per-view because Shohei is about to hit a ball, 460, whatever. <laughs> and I told Shohei after the game, I'm glad you didn't end the game because that was even better. That was that was unbelievable, man. That was crazy. It, incredible. And you were saying tonight the ball wasn't carrying. Not at all. I mean, you know, early in the game, there were some weird line drives. The one that uh, I think it was Glaver to Muncie, first bat of the game. Uh, tails ball in the first inning. Kind of the ball was like top spinning and it was kind of weird um, you know Glaber's ball I thought in the ninth inning I believe it was I thought that was going to be a homer for sure tail hit a ball like 102 103 at like 22 degree launch angle and the Soto took one step back um, I mean Freddie should have that ball should have gone 450 and it like went out like four rows deep but uh, man what a baseball game and I'm glad we uh, I'm glad I'm the one here and not somebody wearing gray. I was going to ask you when Freddie hit it did you know it was gone when he hit it. I mean yeah <laughs> I, I thought that ball was going to clear the pavilion but uh, it doesn't matter where it went you know it, it counted as a granny ended the game and uh, man honestly I mean I thought I thought I was going to end it in the ninth. I thought it would have been great if Shohei had a walk off in his first World Series game. But after everything this guy's been through this year, uh, you know, what he's had to go through off the field, on the field with, you know, half his body's broken. And, you know, to, for him to get a moment like this in game one of this series, uh, you, you can't make this up. You hey, can't make it, was, it up. It started off a heck of a pitching duel between. Flaherty and, and Garrett Cole. What were you seeing from Garrett Cole? Uh, I mean, he he had everything going for him tonight. He was throwing everything for a strike, which allowed his pitch count to be to be pretty low and get into the seventh inning. We take pride in you know bringing that pitch count up and getting the starter out of the game early, and uh, we weren't able to do that tonight. But uh, you know, we we uh, we scored one against him, and you know. Uh, Jack had everything going as well. He just made one one mistake and you know he made the mistake to the wrong guy and you know after that uh, I don't even remember what happened after that. It, it's hard to believe this is just the beginning of this World Series. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, man uh, I've never seen what what happened on the uh, in the dugout after the game like we were the entire team was still on the field and in the dugout 10 minutes after the after Freddie hit that ball. I've never seen that before. But I'm really happy that I got to see that, you know? <laughs> hey, cool. Kike, we appreciate you coming up and joining us. Congratulations. Thank that was a fun game to watch. Thank you, guys. Thank there you. There you have him, Kike Hernandez.